the bookstore. What do we even have to say about this book? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new and you've never seen a video of mine before. My name is Melissa. As you guys can see from the title of today's video, I am going to be showing you guys a little mini book shopping vlog. I didn't get a lot of footage from the bookstore, but I'm also going to be doing a little book haul and also going over all the books that I've read recently in the past couple of months as well. Before we get into today's video though, I am going to introduce you guys to today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Anna Luisa Jewelry. I've worked with them multiple times in the past and I absolutely love their company and their jewelry and everything that they stand for. If you don't know what Ana Luisa Jewelry is, it is a luxury sustainable jewelry company. They basically have luxury quality jewelry items for half the price of what you would probably get for luxury items and the jewelry is also sustainable. Sustainability, especially in jewelry companies, is always really, really important because a lot of the time jewelry is made from unsustainable sources as in gold mining and gold mining is very expensive and not pretty at all. Anna Luisa's pieces are actually made from recycled gold and other materials. I think it's super important to obviously work with sustainable brands like Anna Luisa Jewelry because even if it's just a little change here and there, jewelry is a pretty good way to start out. I've also gotten a lot of comments on these earrings that I wear literally daily. These are also from Anna Luisa Jewelry and they are my absolutely favorite pieces. I've had these earrings for a very long time and I go in the shower with them they haven't rusted or anything. I love them. They're so, so nice. The pieces of jewelry that Anna Luisa sent me, they actually sent me three pieces of jewelry. And you guys know, I'm not a very big hoop wearer, but I decided that I would go outside of my comfort zone and I would get hoop earrings. These are the ones that they sent me. The second pair of hoop earrings that they sent me were these just, you know, regular ones. I would probably wear these hoops with some like going out kind of attire, some black pants and like a cute like cropped shirt. And I would wear these. These are really, really nice statement pieces. The next pair of earrings that they sent me, they're these little paper clip earrings. Kind of just look like this. They're also gold. They have these in silver as well. This is kind of for more like an everyday wear, like kind of what I wear with these. I would actually probably pair these earrings with my little boa earrings as well. I think these are just super, super cute. They're really good everyday wear. And currently right now, Anna Luisa is running their summer sale, which means you get 20% off any piece of jewelry that you buy, which is huge. So if you guys are interested in buying some pieces from Anna Luisa, make sure you go buy them right now. There is a 20% off summer sale right now. Probably the best back to school kind of shopping that you can do for any kind of earrings. And it's totally freaking worth it. And thank you again to Anna Luisa jewelry for partnering with me on today's video seriously love them all so 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 much best jewelry pieces i've ever had let's get into today's video okay so my boyfriend and i went to barnes and noble and then we also went to this used and rare bookstore in downtown detroit it was huge it had four stories which is a lot i didn't get any books from there but i do have footage from it obviously but all the books that i am gonna show you today i've gotten from barnes and noble the ones the hall the haul part of it, not. But yeah, let me run that footage really quickly so you guys can see the little mini shopping vlog portion. <laughs> Barnes & Noble is doing a 50% off pretty much everything sale in their store. We thought we'd take advantage of it. My little satchel. <laughs> man purse. Get you a man who carries your purse for you. I wanted to cap myself at four books, and I think I may have capped myself at four books. I think most of these are like romance books, which I'm fine with. I need more, more romance books, so. Barnes and Noble is really busy today, so I, real, I, <laughs> I feel really awkward just like busting out my camera because it's so busy. <laughs> Where are we going today? The, what's it called? Do you not remember either? Right. <laughs> coffee. Mm -hmm. I already made the coffee. There's that in there. And now we do the cold film. <laughs> I'm gonna get it on my camera. Just plop. Oh, gee, then. 
Damn. I'm coming for Starbucks. Here's the bookstore. The engineering aisle, just for Einstein in the making. Shut up. <laughs> he doesn't like it when I call him Einstein in the making, because he doesn't think he's a mini Einstein. I say otherwise. Like I said in the video, Barnes & Noble was literally so freaking busy, so I didn't really get that much footage, which is fine. You guys already saw one of them on my story, which by the way, if you aren't already following my Instagram, go follow it right here. As you guys saw on my story, I did get The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've been hearing everywhere that this book is just amazing, and I felt kind of left out that I didn't know what the hype was about, so I got it. I don't really know what to expect, to be quite honest. I kind of want to go into this book blind, so to say, because I feel like a lot of the time, know what the book is about or like know more than I should. It kind of ruins the whole like shock factor aspect to reading a book so I don't know much about this I've only heard that it's amazing and I'm gonna hope it lives up to that um, I'm really excited about this I think I might read this in September I feel like this will be a good read on the topic of Taylor Jenkins read I did get her other book called maybe in another life um, I haven't heard a whole bunch about this book and I actually almost got Daisy Jones and the six but when i was reading the back of like you know like the synopsis of what it was about it didn't sound super interesting to me but this one did pretty sure it's kind of like a romance book which you guys know me i love my romance books i've kind of been on this kick of romance books for a while now i read all of the off-campus series which i'll get to towards the end of this video because that's part of what i read recently I've just been super into romance books lately and they've just i always just want to read a romance book so i think getting more romance books right now is a good way to go. The next book that I got I think is actually a newer book. Um, at least I think it is. I haven't seen it before and I've only known a couple people who've read it. I got the Spanish Love Deception. I got this. I've been seeing a ton of like fan art for this one and just a lot of TikToks about Erin Blackford. So and it's and it's a romance book. So I'm really trying to justify why I bought five romance books. I also think the cover is really pretty. For some reason I just really like the whole like digital art kind of look to the cover because I do a lot of digital art like this because it just looks super pretty so I really like the cover of it and the synopsis on the back just sounds so good. Basically it's about this woman who has to like fake date this guy and they go on like a wedding trip and then they go to Spain but like she hates him so it's kind of like an enemies to lovers kind of book I think. The next book that I got is actually Verity by Colleen Hoover. I've heard Verity is kind of like a romance paranormal thriller kind of book and it's a pretty like decently short book so I feel like it won't be like a huge letdown if I don't like it because it's only like 200 some pages. I feel like I might like it so I got this one. If there's any other Colleen Hoover books that you guys think that I might like leave them in the comments below because I, I kind of want to start getting into liking her books. Let me know in the comments below. All right last book and I know I said I wasn't gonna get the second book in this series but I saw it at the bookstore and I got it. <laughs> I haven't even read A Court of Thorn and Roses yet, but I just feel like I'm really gonna like it. My friend Judah has read the entire series and she said it's amazing. So I decided to cave and I got the second book in the series. It's huge. It's all the books that I got. Moving on to all the books that I've read within the past couple of months. This is gonna be fun. I'm gonna talk a lot. First book that I read within the past couple of months is The Deal by L. Kennedy. I actually read... The whole off-campus series? <laughs> I read all of them. I only tabbed the last one, but I read all of them. <sighs> I, I don't... I don't even know what to say about this series because I love it so, so much. Obviously, the deal is a staple. Garrett and Hannah cutest couple ever absolutely love their whole story i just think the whole concept of how all their stories slightly intertwine is super cool i'm very excited that i read these i also already bought the entire spinoff series of briar you haven't read it yet 
but I'm going to. But out of all of them, I think my favorite, like my favorite relationship out of all of them and favorite story um, has to be Tucker and Sabrina. I tabbed the crap out of this one. Like I tabbed it a lot. This was the only one I tabbed, but I really, really liked this story. I just thought that their relationship was so complex, but like not complex. But I also really liked Sabrina's character in this one. I would say the one I least liked, but had the best sex scenes in it is the score. They were all five stars. The next book that I read is actually The Song of Achilles. This one took me so, so long to get through, and it was mainly because I was in a massive reading slump after reading the Off Campus series. Not because they were bad, but because of how good they were. All I wanted to do was read the Off Campus series after I finished them, but obviously I have other books to read and I couldn't do that. So I read this one afterwards, and I think it like slightly almost ruined it for me, I guess. Not like ruined it for me, like I didn't get anything spoiled in this book but I think the fact that I wasn't entirely mentally over off campus series that it didn't really fully prepare me for the song of Achilles. A lot of people said that this book destroyed them and that they cried at the end. I didn't. Um, I thought the story was obviously you know very good. I am not a very big Greek mythology person when it comes to reading. I gave this a three star read. It was okay. I would say if you like Greek mythology to read it, but if you're kind of like, eh, I'm Greek mythology, I think you could skip it and be perfectly fine. The last book that I read recently, Six of Crows, which is the second series of the Grishaverse. How I, what do I even have to say about this book? This book. I started this book back in May, I think, sometime around there, and I put it down for a while just because I kind of got bored of it, but not like super bored of it. The character building, the world building, everything about it is just so, so beautiful. A lot of people said that if you read Six of Crows before the Shadow and Bone series that you are gonna get spoiled, but to be quite honest, I don't think there's any major spoilers other than like a few characters mentioned. So if you did wanna read Six of Crows, I feel like you would be perfectly fine doing so before reading Shadow and Bone. You might be a little confused by like the terminology used and whatnot. I wouldn't say a big difference in the writing style, but I do see that there is kind of almost like a maturity gap but I just feel like the way that it's written this is more mature compared to Shadow and Bone. Okay so those are all the books that I've read recently and also my small little book haul. I hope this video was entertaining. It is a little bit of a different format than what I usually do with my book videos. I kind of want to make my book videos more personal and more like kind of unscripted not that my videos were scripted before but it just didn't feel natural or like myself hopefully more in the future that i can get more kind of comfortable with doing book videos to the point where i can do them regularly i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and if you guys haven't already please be sure to go follow my social media to keep up with what i'm not doing when i'm posting on youtube anyways i hope you guys all have a wonderful wonderful day and again if you are interested in buying jewelry from anna luisa they are having their summer sale right Right now so be sure to go check that out i love you guys all so much and i will see you guys all in my next video Bye. i used to take myself out on dates open my own damn doors pay for everything on my plate sometimes i'd even get to stay because i got it like that always in my own bag never needed no man to rely on got two good shoulders to cry on